Hi, I'm Lucas. This is uh, this is my property. Uh, I have a, a welding business, and um, I bought this old excavator project. Um, it's a 1999 Hitachi 200 uh, EX, um, <clears throat> I think. Thought the data plant stamp plate's gone. I bought it um, broken, so I'm trying to fix it do stuff with it. Um, it's actually in surprisingly not too bad a shape for the old junk that I usually acquire. It's in John Deere controls. I'm trying to get it into CAT controls. Uh, the only manual I could find was in Japanese. So it's not really helpful to me. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to do that now. So up and down on this side are right here. So we just got to figure out where up and down are on uh, on that side, and then switch those two guys around. This is uh, I think this is up and this is down. That doesn't really matter. We can switch that around. But it'd be cool if they were right here because this is super easy to switch. If but we'll see. The only other ones that they could be are these two right here. This turns off. It's supposed to turn off all the hydraulics, but I don't know if the machine still moves if you have that on. I don't think it does. It's supposed to, I think it just turns everything off. So why would they just be right here? Anyways, before I get philosophical about it. This is the back side of the valve body. So I'm just going to switch some of these lines. Um, definitely going to use some, some figuring to figure out which ones to do. Not just guess at it because that would be stupid. I wouldn't do that. I'm going to switch the two down functions. Or actually, I'm going to switch the, the up and down function from each one and see if it changes just in case I'm applying pressure to the wrong place. Okay. Oh. If my calculation is correct, this will make the uh, levers go backwards on the left side. If I'm wrong, it'll just blow everything up. Snap. Okay, so before down was down, up was up, so now down should be up if my confirmation is correct. It doesn't like it, but that was down and I pulled up. And that was down and it went up. So. But doesn't like the like the stiff. So I'm on to something, but I'm not. One, two, three, over. So this one and this one. Those two those two spools or whatever the fuck you call them. Those are the two that energize the cylinders. So, just thinking if you, if you just switch those two right there, <clears throat> but as soon as you went down, it would do the opposite of what you yeah, wanted you it to. Dig and yeah. The right so, and up and down with the left. As soon as you went down, it would go back to, so you would, you would be pushing the stick out, and then when you went to go down, the whole thing would fall instead of curling in. So how do I control the opposite one than that? So look at the return side. This one here is our return. Stupid card line. And it goes to another top bound spool. This one. The bottom one goes to, to the second row of, of controls down there. And I don't know what controls those. I'm assuming that this 
is directly correlated with that. But there's another row of them underneath, and I don't know what controls it. Here, straight down. And this manifold here. So, and that's number three. Yeah, the fittings look the same. Okay. If we're on the right track, then if we switch those two, then our down function will change, or down function will swap. Okay, so we lost the microphone there for a bit, so it's been, it's been a little bit of time. But uh, basically, trying to switch it at the um, pilot shutoff, the hydraulic pilot shutoff, does not work at all. You have to go into the um, manifold locks here. Uh, if you can find a diagram, it's real easy. If not, then we just cracked them loose and figured out what each function did by based on how much fluid came out of it. In the case that this is helpful for someone out there that buys a 1990-ish <laughs> Attache excavator, uh, these four lines here, one, two, three, four, those are to switch from SAE to ISO or John Deere to uh, CAT um, diagonally. So four, and one, and two, and three. Um, and uh, if you need if you need to know what everything else does, I have a diagram for it. Very poorly made diagram. <laughs> it's like a beer.